Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about something which could be the future of turbocharging for gasoline engines. And this was something developed by BorgWarner which I saw at SEMA and basically it's combining two different types of turbochargers, variable geometry turbochargers with twin scroll turbochargers. And the downside of variable geometry turbochargers is that they're fairly delicate and so you have to use really good materials in order to make them strong. And so in applications for gasoline engines, uh, they're typically not used because it's too expensive to make it work out because you have to use these exotic materials in order to make it strong enough to last for the high exhaust gas temperatures uh, which are relevant with gasoline engines. So what they've done is combine the best of two worlds and so basically I'm going to be calling this a variable twin scroll turbo and if you haven't yet watched my videos on how VGTs work or twin scroll turbos work I will include links in the video description you should absolutely check those out as it's going to help make all of this uh, make a lot of sense. And so what we've got here is our engine. We've got our four cylinders and a split exhaust system as you would have with a twin scroll turbo. So two of them going to one scroll and two of them going to another scroll. And it's going to vary basically where these gases are going with this valve right here. So it has this lever which can, you know, force the gases to go into different scrolls. And so at low RPMs, it can force all of them into one and then it can open up and allow them to split. So the reason why this is beneficial has to do with the area R ratio. So this is the cross-sectional area versus the distance, the radius from the center of the turbo to that area. And so basically this helps define the size of a turbocharger. So small turbochargers have a low AR ratio and big turbochargers have a high AR ratio. And so with a low AR ratio, what you're doing is you have a fast exhaust velocity, you have a quick boost rise, so the engine's very responsive, it seems fun to drive. Uh, you have high boost at low RPM, but you're restricted in your flow capacity. And once you get up to the higher RPMs, you get a lot of back pressure and it reduces the performance of the turbocharger. On the other hand, if you use a giant turbo with a high AR ratio, you're gonna have slower exhaust velocities, you're going to have a slower boost rise, so it's not going to seem quite as responsive, um, but you're going to have high boost at high RPM, you're going to have a high flow capacity, which means you can make more power on the top end, and you're going to have lower back pressure at these higher RPMs as a result of having a higher flow capacity. So what this system is doing is altering the AR ratio throughout the process. So when you first get started, as I mentioned, you have a low AR ratio. So it's going to close off one of the scrolls and all of the exhaust gases are forced to go into one of the scrolls and spool up this low AR. So that'll happen very quickly and you'll be able to get into boost very quickly. Then as you start to increase RPM and get up into higher RPMs, the uh, lever here is going to start to open up, so this valve is going to start opening and that's going to allow some of the exhaust gases to pass into the other scroll. Now this is completely variable, so it doesn't just flick open, it's actually a variable process so it can open slowly and you can have a gradual process of getting into both scrolls. And then finally you will end with a high AR ratio as a result of having that, uh, that lever essentially basically being straight so you're perfectly diverting those two between the two scrolls and you can make bigger high-end power. So what you're doing is making a variable geometry turbocharger but in a much more simple way. And so your boost curve is going to look something like this where if you were to just use the red scroll you know you may be able to make power like this and then if you were to use both scrolls you'd be able to to be able to use power like this, but when you combine them you have this long flat boost curve and that gives you a favorable torque curve. And so that's great um, and it's also a cost effective way of doing this versus a variable geometry turbocharger because you don't have to use quite as exotic materials uh, and, and you know as, as this thing is just purely dependent on this lever right here and so you just have to worry about the exhaust gas temperatures for this and you can make that robust enough that you don't have to worry about it and lower the cost of the system and make it usable in gasoline applications. So I'm curious to see if this does tend to catch on or if things like this are just going to kind of fizzle out and just be concepts but it's cool to think about about nonetheless. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.